I'm back at the top of Mount St. Marie and I am stoked for the start of another season. Okay, dropping into the top of Bone Shaker here at Mount St. Marie. And this is about the 10th ride on my 2023 Norco site. Just wanna do a little run in here to feel out this drop. So I've been getting a pretty good feel for this bike. I actually PR'd the climb here today, which is crazy because I'm not even in shape. This bike is legit. It's a very comfortable climber. A little bit heavy, but the body position makes up for the extra energy you have to put in. Just a very relaxing bike to climb up the hill. It's like sitting on the couch and pedaling. All right, drop in. And try and jump this here. Ew. Oh man, this bike is so smooth. Yep. Yeah, really agreeing with this bike so far. Got a bit of a technical drop here. Just gonna take a look at it. So it actually looks like they've built up the landing for this drop this year, but it is kind of wet. So just cause this is a little bit wet, I am really gonna creep into it today. Control my braking, stay high. And to the left of these roots here, here we go. Nice. Yeah. That was good strategy. <laughs> Staying slow. But I gotta say, it's my first time, first bike with uh, Maxxis Asagai. And this tire is insane. It just grips everything. Uh, it totally changes your braking in steep conditions. And these are also the best brakes I've ever had on any bike. Did I mention I like this bike? All right, here's a feature I've yet to hit. So this feature kind of looks like nothing. And it sort of is nothing, but I've never been able to wrap my head around it. Just a little gap here, about a bike and a half here, and a small drop there. Just gonna do a run up here and see how I feel. I think it's time I hit this. I've been avoiding it for way too long. So what's always gotten me about this is there's not much of a lip on that jump. And I wanna be able to like pop up and plop down so that I'm ready to just pop off on the other side. And it, like, it's not big. It's just, it's just weird. All right, here we go. There we go, that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> Now, I did try that one time on the stump jumper and I had just been recovering from an injury and I uh, was with all, with all my buddies and I basically tried it three times and almost crashed all three times and then I kind of swore it off for about a year but since then I've sort of regained my confidence and it turns out that move wasn't actually that hard. Who knew? So it turns out new bike confidence is real. You saw it here. You can't buy confidence, but you can buy better geometry. All right, I've got a decision to make here. Do I go left down Maybach or do I go right down Bone Shaker? Dropping into Maybach. Now I've only done this once. And this is one of the steepest slabs in Quebec. And it's not talked about as much as it should be. It's also one of the biggest slabs in Quebec. This thing is long. And I actually skied this about a month and a half or two months ago. A lot harder to ski it, but it's still no slouch on a mountain bike. Phew! That is a gnarly line. So good. Nice. Brake control so crucial through here.
Now I know there is a cliff coming up with a left turn and that is a mandatory left turn. Must be nailed and not missed. Here it is. Oh, there it is. Uh, if you went straight and didn't know that bridge was there, wouldn't be good. Steep bridge here. Ew. Oh, so good. <laughs> that is gnarly. One more little shoot here. Gotta say, the brakes on this bike really come in handy. I love that trail. Okay, I've just crossed the street onto another mountain and now I'm dropping into the old dirty on the Woo Trails here at Mount St. Marie. And this is a really nice flow trail. First flow trail on the Norco site. Ew! This bike, super supportive through the mid stroke. One thing I was worried about is that it wouldn't be quite as poppy as the Stumpy. And it's not quite as poppy as the Stumpy. I have to push a little harder, but still good. That jump's pretty hard to clear back there. But yeah, happy with that, how that went. So a little further down the mountain now, dropping onto the Dream Trail. These trails are all built by Terra Sculpt, and they are the masters of building corners. Amazing. Took it a little too hot on that jump there, but my goodness, these corners are well built. Phew. Oh, it's so smooth. Nice. So good. Phew. Yeah. So sick. Nice. So I'm just finishing up a ride here at Mont Saint Marie. Uh, the trails are running really good. Big shout out to Terra Sculpt and the guys for getting everything open really early this season. Had a great ride. And as far as the bike goes, 2023 Norco site. Really happy to get this bike on some big climbs and some flow trails. Was curious to see how that would handle. Uh, definitely rode really well. Uh, for a bigger bike, it really is nice and supportive through the mid-stroke so you can pop out of corners. I'm just not quite used to jumping on it yet, but I'll get there. So if you are thinking about buying this bike, use the Ride Align calculator on the Norco website. I actually hadn't even rode this bike before I bought it. I just really liked the numbers and I wanted a Norco and that calculator was spot on. But I'm on a bit of a time crunch today, so... I'm going to head home. Until next time, ride good trails.